Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, oh, we didn't save. Okay, well, jeez. All right, it's time to go face the biggest, scariest ghost in this section of the game. A terrifyingly horrific boss ghost. I'm going to pretend like you don't know what's happening because... There, that's how you suck up the mice. Okay. B but I, I know Luigi's Mansion has been LP'd a lot. It's because it's a great game. It's a fun game. It's a unique game. All right. Horsey, Rocky, Horsey. That's our clue. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, that gets him up. Hey, whip, hey, whip, hey. No, not at all. You're a ghost baby. Okay, we get his ball. Hit him with it. Yeah. <gasps> Ow, you gave me an owie. I want to play with you. I hate grown ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've eaten enough. Come on now, grow smaller. Small, easy, tiny, little, wee, goo, goo, ya, goo, ga, gwa. And now we're tiny. And really, I mean, tiny, tiny. Itsy bitsy. Teeny weeny. Alright. And there are demon rocking horses. Of course, of course. And a giant baby. Yeah, he's mad. All right. So, this is Chauncey. And this is more of a traditional boss fight. First off, he'll send rocking horses at us, which we must dodge. And then he will throw balls at us. And one of them will stick around. Then we'll have to hit him with it. Oh! Man, I have so much trouble with him. God, he got me right before I got him to 52. Yeah, then he'll bounce around like this. I really wanted to do a better run at him than this. Yeah, he's not very good at aiming with the rocking horses at all. Oh, man. Really? There we go. Ugh. I gotta get him all in one shot now, though. Damn it! Stupid little kid. Like I said, I have so much trouble with him. It's not even funny. We're gonna run with it, I think. I mean, I think we're just gonna go with it. It doesn't make any sense to re-record. See, now the, ho now the horses will go faster. You just want to keep moving. That's really your only option. Other than that, the pattern is largely, uh, largely the same. Oh, man, he left his ball way over here. Okay. There we go. 
That wasn't great. At all. Alright, well, now that he's gone... I'm not sure that there's anything we can get out of here. Oh, apparently we can get that out of the lights. It's kind of nice. Nothing out of those identical pictures of him. And a giant heart that will refill our life. Hey, we is a can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness, you're okay. I lost contact with all of you of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Mm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss, goes your porter gas 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But oh, oh, oh I guess you shot that boss ghost who's boss ghost. Hmm? Alright, so we go back to the lab automatically. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a god, this is fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it a ghost portificationator. Portificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghost you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug the portagized 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. All right. <laughs> the ghosts are invisible, so we need to place them into visible form. And the press to turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Wow, he just turned into Dr. Nick on me. That's not what I meant to do or whatever. Now, this is exactly what I got in my practice file. Hmm, where we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. We're going to go with this. I like this better. Okay. So we cut Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. Three ghosts. And now we'll see what we got for money. It's probably about the same as what I got in my practice file. Yeah, it's almost exactly what I got in my practice file. So that's fine. And we're definitely going to save. All right, where will we go? And now we can go to the gallery. Hmm. Yeah, see? Now I wonder what happens if we do this. Nothing? So there's Lydia. Hmm. Yeah, it's creepy looking. So creepy. Where is Chauncey, then? Hmm. Ooh! Interesting! I wonder what goes there. Hmm. There he is! Hmm. <laughs> cool. Now, again, the portraits come in three different kinds. There's a gold frame, silver frame, that's what we got there. And then, like, a, a bronze or something. I, I'm assuming it's bronze. Now, this one looks silver. It's not, I don't think. I think it actually is probably. Um, 
Actually, I wonder, is there a way? Oh. Yeah, there is. Huh, nice! He cries loudly, never sleeps through the night. But since he was born a ghost, this seems natural. How is that possible? Neville spends his afterlife reading all the books he missed while living. That's how I want to spend mine. Huh. She stashed her secret savings away to prepare for her long afterlife. She's 34 years old. She's the same age I am, except she's dead. Actually, this is funny. Let's let's search Egad. Way to go, genius. Do you have a hang of that thing yet? Whoa! Nice! And what is this? This looks like writing. Oh, no. It's a money portrait or something. I don't know. All right. So, uh, when we come back... Uh, I will have practiced the next part, and we'll be doing that. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess we gotta go back to the lab. Now, we could go back to the training room, but... All right. So, uh, like I said, when we come back, uh... Area 2. Bye, everybody.